A little while ago I did a recording of a piece of music and I was using this which is a 140 year old corner and in this video I'm going to go through the steps that I went through to actually make this instrument sound because it doesn't work. But just a quick note before we get started, if you are not already a subscriber to this channel you can become one by clicking on the subscribe button below. You can also enable notifications to uh, be alerted whenever I release a new video by clicking on this icon here. Furthermore if you want to help me create new videos like this then please consider becoming a Patreon sponsor. Information in the video description. Onto this instrument, if you've seen my video where I discussed this and reviewed it uh, originally, link down in the description below, you will have heard me say that it doesn't work very well. And I'm deadly serious about that. It's got a number of interesting things that unfortunately weren't the best decisions that they could have made when they were designing this instrument. Let me give you an example of that. The Spit valves are actuated by a single leaf spring lever here and they actuate with the same amount of pressure on these two water keys. The astute among you will have noticed that I've actually taped these up with insulation tape and the reason for doing that is that if these um, corks are not, at the bo are not both at the exact same amount of wear i.e. if you've got one that's newer than the other, then you're not going to get a seal on both. It's one of the real downsides about having a single spring that doesn't have, that applies the same pressure across two uh, different contact points. Uh, so what I did to avoid air leaking out through one or the other of these uh, water valves is that I'll just take them up. So that was the first thing that I did. And that made perhaps 5% of a difference. The big thing that made the difference was in the valves themselves. The valves, as I said, they were made with, you know, 140 year old technology, which means that they leak quite horribly. And to give you an example of how bad they are when they leak, I'm going to, I've taken any valve oil off and I'm going to try and play a scale. But I can also play the same notes without having to use any valves whatsoever. Now if you try to do that in a normal instrument then you're going to get a G, you're going to get a very flat G and then it's going to flick to the next partial below it like a C. For instance, there's nothing in between it, yet with, what, with this particular instrument there's everything in between it. Above the G things get a little bit better. But everything else is go by feel. And so how I got around that is uh, I was doing a little bit of interneting the other day, well actually a little while ago, and I came across a company called Monster Valve Oils. And they produce this product here. Now this type of valve oil is uh, called their smoother valve oil and it is specifically designed for people that neglect their instruments. If you read up about this particular valve oil on the Monster Oils website they talk about how neglectful an owner you must be to need a valve oil like this. It's for people who only oil their valves once a year etc etc. However there's a brief line about it being suitable for historical instruments. So I got some of this and I squirted it liberally along the valves and it made a lot of difference but it still wasn't perfect it still wasn't enough to enable me to comfortably record something and have it being anywhere near tuneful so what I did is then I mixed this valve oil with some Slido mix uh, now they're two separate compounds they've probably got two completely different chemical uh, constructions but the two together created a very glutinous substance that enabled the instrument to actually function if you're not familiar with the result that I got from taking that glutinous substance and, and gently caressing it liberally onto the valves, then I recommend you check out the solo video that I did, the performance video that I did uh, on this corner. Link will be down in the description below. Thank you very much everyone for your, um, for your suggestions as to what I use for valve oils for this to try and make this work. And I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks very much.